I'm starting this video again in the new shop car uh, but we are going to put uh, the three series together I received some new parts of course um, let's uh, almost finish the three series because we have to move the car from the garage and um, we can work on this one as well I'm going to give you some uh, footage from this car maybe you will know what kind of car is Anyway, let's go back in the garage, let's uh, start working on the 3 series, let's do some progress or as much progress as we can and um, we can focus on this one. Let's try now to put the front of the car uh, without this reinform reinforcement bar because uh, this one I want to put it together with um, the bumper because last time I had problems taking some clips out like this one because I couldn't uh, manage to put my hand in here under the bumper. Anyway, we are going uh, to install this in pieces this one first and after that this one with the bumper uh, not really sure if the, uh, this is going to work but i'm going to try and this time i'm not going to replace this plastic uh, duct because uh, i uh, want to install a M an m bumper and that might be different that's why i'm not going to buy now one uh, when we have the m package the bumpers um, i have to check if uh, the air duct will remain or uh, we have to buy a new one And now I can say that it's a project car, check this out, I put some zip ties in there just to have the normal shape so everything is uh, done in there and like I've said I'm going to buy a new one when I'm going to install the M package because I'm pretty sure that I have to buy a different one. Let's replace now the water tank, we have the new one in here, it's a brand new one, it's not original but it doesn't matter because it just holds water. We have in here the original one, you just have to unplug all the hoses, pull out and um, after that you have to move from the old one this uh, pipe, you have to plug it in here, something like that. Perfect, see that? And uh, you will have a metal clamp that you have to secure everything. And that metal clamp should be in here. Yep, it's still here. This metal clamp. And you will have a cover, an indicator in fact, that shows you where it's uh, at the max or a minimum level. So I'm going to put everything back together, slap that in and uh, of course put the antifreeze back leave the car running to see if we have leaks or not but for now other than this crack in the water tank in this one we don't have any kind of leak for now everything is dry no seepage no nothing
everything is perfect, no leak whatsoever, everything is dry. Car runs perfect, for real. No strange noises, nothing. Everything is dry, for sure. No oil whatsoever, anywhere. From the seal, no oil. From here, no oil. But we have a lot of white powder. Maybe you can see that in here, everywhere. In fact, everywhere on the engine in here, that's the aluminum that's coming from the radiator. When the fan kicks in, pulls all the um, stuff from the radiator. But we have to drive the car to uh, take that out. But we cannot drive the car because the brakes are done, are gone. No brakes whatsoever. Maybe you saw in the last episode that I've moved the car a little bit and I've used the brakes. But that was for uh, one, two kilometers per hour when I've... Uh, drove the car outside on the road I had like no brakes whatsoever so yeah who needs brakes so the next problem will be to resolve the brakes oh and uh, we have a cover for the gas no smoke whatsoever uh, just normal condensation that's pretty normal but sadly I cannot test the car more than this because I have to drive it and like I said in order to drive it we need brakes this one are done, no, no power whatsoever. Maybe the rotors are starting to clean, but not a chance after four years. I don't, I don't trust this. Maybe, just maybe we are going to give it a try like this. We are going to try to move the car from here into the front yard. And uh, in this, whoa, check how much stuff from the radiator. See that, it's like snow. Anyway, maybe we are going to move the car from here to the other side and uh, I can uh, test the brakes. And of course we need new wheels because... Because, because, check this out. Yep, and we have a big crack in here, it's already inflated more than normal. And in fact, everywhere. So these tires are so bad that I have no trust whatsoever to drive with this one, not even till uh, in the, my front yard. But let's hope it's going to hold till the other side. I've moved the car here in the front yard. Maybe you can see. Oh, let me uh, just give you an update. The 4 Series, the broken lip is gone and I'm not going to install a new one because I broke for, I'm not sure, 3, 4 already. I'm going to have just the corners for now, but maybe I'm going to find a good one with uh, more um, reinforcement point and I'm going to buy that, but till then it's going to remain like this. The scratch is still here because I have some problems with the insurance. They say that the, uh, the damage is too big to be done from a bicycle, so it's going to be tricky with this one. Maybe I have to sue them, not really sure, I don't want to go in there, but if uh, it's going like this, I have to, because uh, apparently they don't recognize the accident from the bicycle. It's kind of strange, but I uh, keep um, sending emails and I receive back emails and maybe we will find uh, a solution. Anyway, that's done. I've uh, installed the air filter, it's new. I've put the duct, air duct in here, this cover, this one, new. Um, cabin filter I'm going to put oh I think I forgot to put this one yep because this one goes first and after that that one so anyway I'm going to do all this I'm going to show you the result and um, maybe we are going to close the video in here because the car is moving is rolling I can move the car from here to uh, there and uh, uh, vice versa and uh, I have to check the brakes. So till I uh, receive uh, brakes, we cannot do anything. And I'm not going to install the bumper till I'm going to find the fender because I have to remove the fan uh, the bumper in order to remove the fender. So anyway, um, that's why in the next episode I'm going to show you the new shop car that I've bought. And uh, this one uh, will remain a little bit uh, in the background till I receive all the parts. Maybe. I'm going to receive the fender, doors, and we are going to put the car back together in the next episode and we are going for um, inspection directly because I'm, I'm going to receive a, a paper a document that said what's wrong with the car, what we have to replace in order to pass and I'm going to work on that list. And the engine bay is complete. 
we have all the air ducts all the all the cabin filter air filter oil filter everything is new oil and everything all the covers i've checked and rechecked um i let the car running for uh, at least one hour and i didn't have any kind uh, kind of uh, oil leak water leak nothing so that's a good uh, that's a good thing for sure and uh, maybe i can show you here under the car somehow everything is bone dry no water no oil nothing i even installed this uh, plate i have to install uh, the plastic guard from underneath but i'm going to do that the last thing because uh, we don't have a front bumper and um, like i've said i won't install the front bumper till we replace that fender and with all of that being said and done we are at the end of the video i'm going to close the video in here because i have to wait for some parts and uh, if you want to see more progress on this car join me for the next episode in the next episode i'm going to present you the new shop car the new not the project car just a shop car which uh, i'm going to use to drive to pick up parts and stuff like that Anyway, if you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, as usual, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.